Hello and welcome back everybody to some more Full Invasion 2 action. Today I've got for you all some Sengoku Jedi vs Chinese Dynasties at Asaku. Which I thought was the map based off of Osaka Castle and it's not. I mean this map is cool, but sometimes tis not the best. This is my bad. Go ahead and his life. And we are joined again with Plinkin Oath Sworn Communist Vanguard. Samurai Defense 4, enter the dojo. What? I don't know what that meant. I ain't got time to figure that out. I gotta knock you down to some people. Or get faced through weapons. That's cool too. There we go. Ah, took me a while to get used to the Naginata, but now that I've now that I've done that, it's uh, it's not a bad weapon. It's never been a bad weapon. I just never got used to the 80 speed. I always used the three prong Yari, which had shorter reach, but it was very fast. Had very good swing. No, I didn't want to fucking poke. Why would you even poke with this thing? Except for cavalry. That's that's the only time where I could see poking being a good idea. Aw, oh, dude, that Nodachi is so much better than that Chinese big sword. Trust me. It does more damage, it's faster, it has better reach. It's in every way a better sword than that big sword. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go heal, because I'm uh, perilously low on health. About halfway. Now, I've noticed the difference between the Naginata Warrior Monk and the Naginata Samurai. Uh, the Samurai has less power strike, but gets better armor, so therefore is a more defensive tanky unit, while the Naginata Warrior Monk is a more squishy, but has 7 power strike, so it's 2 more, so that's, I don't know, 28 or 30% more damage on the swing. So, it plays much like Shogun 2, where uh, Naginata Warrior Monk's very, very vulnerable to missiles. Um, melee defense is very good. They're overall very good units, uh, since they're considered elite units, I would say. Since uh, they are the most expensive and they have some very good stats. But, um, very, very weak to missiles. Okay, hit the horse, but it didn't die, because it's got armor. Makes sense. Come on. Now, I've got to thank Plink in here, because I'm going to fucking die. But, uh, Plinkin is a very much sword and shield kind of person. Um, as you all know, samurais don't have shields. <laughs> so this is very much out of his, um... Of his playstyle, he was. He told me, and he can attest to this himself. Is he played nothing but ranged, and Bow Warrior Monk is one of the best ranged units in the game, in my opinion. At least they were in the older version. I haven't played as them much in the new version. Uh, so I mean, he he still has a thing that he's good at that he does, but he has his preferred playstyles, and I've got to thank him for going out of his preferred playstyle to. Uh, to indulge my samurai need. And since I have a deed, yeah, he's not gonna make it, he's in the spawn. Not much you can do. We're gonna go ahead and grab us a Nodachi because it's simply better for the situation, I believe. Come on. Vanguard, take as many of them with you as you can. That's all anybody can expect of you at this point. Not saying that he's a bad player, but these are very overwhelming odds, as you'll see, like, the moment they just get you. I mean, he might pull this off, but I don't know what the boss wave is, I can't remember. But once they start wailing on you, it's just, it's very hard to come back from it. But, well, kudos to him for... Just soloing that entire wave while being in the spawn. That was... That's some good play right there. 
That's some very good play. I think he learned that the Nundachis is better. <laughs> it does get cut on things, though. That's the downfall of its reach. That's why they're short swords. Alright, let's see what he's going up against. Archers, okay. Let him know in the chat. Uh, this is a very tough matchup. Very tough, because if your blocking skills aren't down, it's uh, it's not that fun. I guess that's why people don't like playing as the samurai too much. Because, I mean, blocking is hard to get down. It really is. Shit, it took me over half a year to get my blocking down at this level. It's just something you pick up with time. Or you're very naturally skilled at playing the game. But for most people, you get it with time and practice. But uh, that, that was a very good effort by a communist. I mean, he made pretty far. I didn't. I honestly expected him to get killed in the spawn because I always get killed in the spawn because. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, see, I don't know. I don't know if that's a joke or what. Yeah, uh, that was a good job though. It's a very good job. Ah. Oh, good old Nodachi. Man, freaking Katana used to do so much more damage. Nodachis did so much more damage. I don't think they needed to be nerfed. It just... I really don't. There you go. <laughs> there, there's a way to thank somebody. Give him some money. See if this were old no dutch that oh 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 I need to see that okay it's supposed to ooh, update yay ah oh, wait that means my town's gonna be poop now Aww. oh well and there will be some footage of stone hearth soon I just wanted to get familiar with the game learn its mechanics before I went ahead and posted videos about it I did it Got the horse and him. Double kill. Ah! <laughs> uh, I feel so much more comfortable with the Nondachi. I mean, I like the Naginata, don't get me wrong. But I feel more versatile with this, even though it's not. It's honestly... It's less versatile than the Naginata, because you can stab with the Naginata, and it's got longer reach, does more damage, just by three. But, this is just so much faster. Come on, you're both samurai. What in the hell did I just get shot by? <laughs> I got shot in the back of the head. Holy crap. I lived it. Look how much health I have. I swear to God, if somebody sneezed on me right now, I would die. Please don't smack me. Oh, thank God. <sighs> if somebody would have smacked me and team killed me right there, I would have fucking flipped over my goddamn keyboard and smashed it on the ground. Not really. I would have just left the game. Fucking threw this water bottle across the room because it's empty. I have learned if you're going to be angry and throw stuff, make sure it's nothing that can break. <laughs> In my youth, I was a very angry, angry child, and I lost quite a few remotes. Then I learned to throw pillows. And then I learned don't throw anything at all, because it's just a game. Then I got angry again, because then I started playing World Tanks. And if you don't get angry while you play World Tanks, you're either stoned, or you have the patience of a guru. Not even going to go on a rant about World Tanks. Not even gonna do it. Fuck you, kid boy. Wah. Gotta get back in here. Are you? Oh. 
sometimes. Sometimes, just. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Go on, Archer. Fuck it. Ah, <sighs> not bow warrior monk. I would still like to have some melee capability. We'll go ahead and grab the Choskabi outfit because I like it. I'm not gonna afford it. Um. Oh, so a little historical discussion for you all. Now I am no historian. I am no expert in the subject. I would like to think of myself as an amateur. I have done research. I have uh, plenty of books on the subjects. But um, the other night, I was playing with Plinkin, and um, they were talking like, "Oh, he's got a he's got a Yumi bow." Yumi means bow. It literally translates into bow, or it's the term for bow. And somebody answered, no, that's the type of bow that they used in samurai time. And I just, I, I about smashed my forehead through my my, uh, my desk here. Um, while that person is wrong, they're not completely wrong, I understand where they're coming from. Yumi means bow. It is bow. Um... Just like Yari means spear. There are different types of Yari, or spears. There are different types of Yumi, or bow. There's the Daikyu, which is, I believe, this thing I have in my hands here, which would we would call a long bow. And then there's a short bow that starts with an H, and I can't remember what it is at this very moment. And then the art of bow is called Kyudo, or Kyudo. Um, it's, I just, just wanted to point that one out, just in case you were wondering. And then, uh, yeah. And, uh, no. <laughs> I, no. I don't like that matchup. I honestly, I hate, I don't like facing farmers. I really don't. I just find it to be boring. Because it's real easy, then it's real hard, and everybody's like, well, what the hell happened? And it's like, well, farmers are a hard faction to fight. Everybody's really laxed about fighting them. I want to shoot the general. Oh, and this flag on my back is called a, uh, it's called a Mon. It was so, you know, people could not identify what side <laughs> you're on. There we go. Because, I mean, think about it. In the real world, you don't have little floating holographic banners above your head. You have, um... You have flags and uniforms. But everybody wore armor, so there were no uniforms. I mean, sure, they were colored, but sometimes they weren't all colored. So, you had mons on your back. Plus, in the real world, people fought like this. Oh, Plinkin's going with the Kebby armor, and the Kebby armor is uh, the sign of the Onabushi in this game. It's like old samurai armor from the Genpai War. Is it Genpai or Genpei? I think it might be Genpei. I don't know. Genpo! <laughs> Whatever the fuck I want it to be. So, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you found this informative, helpful, whatever. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more daily videos. Let me know in the comments below if you all want to see me play any other game on this channel. I'm always open to suggestions. This has been Raging Ronin. I will see you all next time.